good evening YouTubers. I have a handbag reveal. I also have a confession to make that this is like the third time I've tried to make this video. And for one reason or the other, I am just having not the best luck. So I don't know if I'm going to continue to be my own cameraman. I think I'm going to have to re-recruit my oldest daughter or my middle son or even Joshua at this point because I'm having the worst luck making these, this video right now. It turned out to, first it was a genuine unboxing and then I messed that up somehow or another. The video just came out like caca. And then I was like, all right, let me just do a handbag reveal. And I don't know what I did and blah, blah, blah. And no one cares. And so this is the third time I've done this video. And hopefully th three times is the charm because if this video doesn't work out, I'm going to give up for a little while, charge my phone and ask one of my kids to help me make a video because I'm feeling a little like dur right now, a little dur. So anyway, so I'm not going to ramble. I'm going to try to get through this video and not mess it up. So here's a handbag reveal. I made a purchase on eBay on Wednesday evening. And honestly, I didn't even expect it to be here today, but it was. So yay, happy me, happy, happy dance. Surprise, surprise. So this is a handbag reveal, and I've been looking at this bag for a little while, and I'm glad I waited because I got this bag at like 49L Davis, like Lori would say. It, it's like the deal of the century. I had no intentions on buying any handbags until after the holidays and um, honestly I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I got. None of the Samba leathers are catching my eye. Uh, none of the Crocos are catching my eye and um, there's really nothing that's like as far as like new inventory or new Dooney and Burks or new anything. Nothing is really you know speaking to me. I, I, I have a well-rounded collection. I'm happy with what I have. And so when I made this purchase, it's because I've been looking at this particular bag for a while now, and then it went on clearance in QVC, and then I was like, mm, I don't know, I, I, I could wait, and I, I know I could get it lower than that, and I did, and I was just in the right place at the right time, and so uh, I'm going to reveal to you who she is and how much I got it for. So without further ado, I know it's like three minutes to ramble, but... Long story short, so here we go. I got the medium pocket satchel in the Florentine in the natural color. And I've been looking at this bag, this style, for a little while now. And I actually think that this is a better value if you're looking for a true medium satchel than the Bristol or the Bristol style. I think that if you're looking at the Bristol, I think you should... Um, consider this style over the current style which is the Bristol. It has um, a pocket in the front which the Bristol or the Bristol style which is the pebble leather version does not but like the Bristol it does have a back pocket right there and you can find these quite easily on eBay. They average about $200 on eBay when they were selling for full retail this medium pocket satchel was selling for $3.28. I paid a total with shipping and everything else. I spent $1.17 on this bag. I, I, I was, uh, it started out a really low bid to begin with. I think it was like 99 cents or something like that. And I honestly didn't expect to win this bag. So I was, I was so, so happy. Because I never, what, anything I get on eBay, I get it, uh, most of the time, uh, buy it. I don't. Every time I try to bid on something from the ground up, I never win. So I was so happy that I actually won a bid on eBay, and I just could not pass up on this. I love the natural Florentine leather the the best. I don't own any of the others, but I just love the way it evolves and just gets better and better as um, with my domed Florentine satchel. And this is definitely a smaller bag compared to my domed quarantine satchel in the natural. So I will definitely be doing a comparison video of these two. So I just wanted to do a handbag reveal and show you my deal of the century from eBay. It shipped fast. I'll give you the seller's information in the comments below. And I just wanted to share with you an interesting little detail. 
um, because this is a handbag reveal, I'll be doing a, a handbag tour, a what's in my bag video, comparison video, I'll be doing several videos based on this one bag, I'm so in love with this bag, I can't even tell you, it's in perfect condition, the leather is nice and smooth, there's no obvious defects or flaws, all these little white marks, at any of the Juni nieces know that, that they own Florentine, that that buffs out. And thanks to Lori sharing the tip to use the dust bag to literally rub and buff out those minor uh, scratches. This bag came with a leather key keeper, which was a positive because there's, uh, there's quite a few of these bags in the different colorways on eBay, but most of them come with the current nylon key keeper. But what's interesting with this key keeper is it has the gunmetal lobster claw and it doesn't have the light shiny gold. So um, what I'm thinking is when they transitioned the key keepers that initially they put the gunmetal and they had the, the leather still. So I just thought that was an interesting little tidbit that it, the key keeper has the gunmetal and not the light shiny gold, but it just still has the leather um, sh strap and, as opposed to the current nylon. So there she is. In all her glory, I'm going to um, buff her out. The inside is pristine. I don't think this person ever used this bag, to tell you the truth. I'm so happy with this bag. I'm so glad I got it. And at $117, oh my gosh, the deal of the century. When this bag was selling at full retail, it was selling for $328. And then I know uh, QVC cleared it out, and I can't remember offhand what they cleared it out for, but... That was a really good price, so if you took advantage of the clearance price, you're still way ahead of the game. But if you waited longer like me and it's no longer current stock, definitely check out eBay. I highly recommend this bag. It's a true medium bag. And it's definitely, if you were looking at the Bristol, I think that this bag is a better value for your money than compared to the Bristol. Even if you would have spent uh, more than I spent, if you're lucky, you'll... you'll uh, be in the right place at the right time and get it for approximately the same amount of money that I did. And uh, but even if you got it for about 200, you're still way ahead of the game. So um, please feel free to leave any comments or any questions below. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll be doing a video uh, on this bag. Thanks again.